So Haiti is the poorest country in the world. However, you might be very surprised to find out why Haiti is the poorest country in the world. Haiti was one of the richest places on the planet in the 1700s. The population of Haiti was four to one slave to free Frenchmen. So you basically had about 450,000 slaves there and 120,000, 125,000 uh, free Frenchmen and women. Led by a slave named Toussaint, Haiti successfully overthrew one of the most powerful armies on the planet in 1804 and declared their independence. However, France made a deal with them, with warships at the ready, saying that we will invade you, recapture you, and re-enslave you unless you pay for the lost property. Well, that lost property was the human lives of the Haitians themselves. So France slapped Haiti with a $21 billion bill. That's $21 billion in today's money. It took until 1947 to pay off the initial loan. It took Haiti almost 150 years to pay off that loan. And obviously you guys know about loans and financing and debt. So how did Haiti pay that money off? Especially because France forced them to give them 50% off of their products. So Haiti was accounting for three fourths of the world's sugar at the time and I think uh, a quarter or maybe one third of the entire slave trade at the time. Saint Domingue was also known as the capital of the slave trade in the West Indies and also the worst place for a slave to end up because it was so brutal, torturous, and you could be raped and kidnapped at any point in time and sent anywhere in the world. So that debt was financed and collected by French banks as well as an American bank that was established in 1812, which is called Citibank. That's right. Your bank has been collecting money from Haitian people to pay for their own freedom since 1812 and stopped only in 1947. With the natural resources and the people working the land that Haiti had, it should have been one of the richest countries in the world. But the transfer of wealth from Haiti to France and Haiti to French banks and Haiti to American banks to finance what is called the independence debt, which is no more than a debt for the descendants of slavery to continue to pay the countries and the people that enslaved them for their own freedom. It's well documented. It's well documented that the debt was based on slave owners losing their property. In 2004, the Haitian government demanded that France pay back the billions of dollars that it forced the Haitian people to pay for its own freedom. So think about this. It's like France had their warships ready, just basically gangstered their way into Haiti's pockets. After Haiti beat the French military in 1804, by 1825, France had warships at the ready. Off the coast of Haiti, looking at the island like, nice island you got there. Be a real shame if something happened to it. Okay. So basically France is like, nice island you got there. Nice freedom you've gained there. Be ashamed if something happened to it. Wow. Wow. That's the most gangster, ridiculous, disgraceful shit I've ever heard in my life. In 2004, the Haitian government demanded that France pay back the billions of dollars it paid to protect its own borders and to be a sovereign nation. Can you imagine if you had to pay somebody so that they wouldn't attack you? If you had to pay somebody so that they wouldn't enslave you? If you had to pay somebody because your great grandparents had been kidnapped and held hostage? And the price that you had to pay for a free life was billions of dollars to the people who did it. I'm trying to wrap my head around what that would feel like. And I guess you have to ask a Haitian person. Wow, France, really, really? And after the Haitian government demanded that France pay back the billions of dollars that it unfairly had to pay to France to keep their sovereignty, to keep their freedom, to keep their lives. 11 years later in 2015, France said, fuck you.
Really, France? Wow, that's not gonna age well. So if you've ever wondered why Haiti's so poor, ask France. This is the most egregious and famous independence debt that the Caribbean has had to pay to its former enslavers. But it's not the only one. Just imagine where this world would be if black people didn't have to pay back the children of the enslavers. Now, I really want you to think about that for a second. Where would this world be if the descendants of slaves didn't have to pay back the descendants of the slave owners? The descendants of slaves had to pay back a debt to the people who enslaved them and their children and their children and their descendants. Where would we be if that ridiculous shit never happened? Where would Haiti be right now if France gave them back the $21 billion that they gave them for their lives and their freedom? People refer to reparations as if it's not owed, as if it's a controversial stance. However, nobody said shit when Haiti had to pay $21 billion just to keep their lives. So somehow it's controversial that the descendants of the people who were held hostage and kidnapped want to be paid for their troubles, want to be paid for the injustices done to their ancestors and how those injustices play out and manifest in our lives today. There needs to be repair of that. However, that's a controversial issue, but it's not a controversial issue for some reason that the Haitian people and several other islands in the Caribbean had to pay back the slave owners and the slave owners' descendants for loss of property. Is it starting to sink in? I don't know what the answer is, but if you're French, I highly recommend that you reach out to your government and tell them to give Haiti their money back. It's fucking disgraceful. I love you guys. I'm just being honest.